Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. And how are you today? Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Here's the daily crumb to help you along your Good morning, afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day this is for you. Welcome to the Daily Crumb with me, Wingy Shnee Bay, Majeki Quinn. The old friendly, freaky ass, sweet grass water medicine woman. Oh, it's Christiana Carr, Chris Carr, superstar. All this beautiful divine being right here. Now welcome, all you beautiful divine beings. Right here too. I'll go and sit with you. Go sit on face, getting back to my, closer to my usual times, 9.34. I gotta work today at two. My body is uh, wiped from working yesterday too. Two 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 to eight. Tell me there two to eight today. Giving out grapes. Yummy yummy Ontario grapes. Mm mm mm. All righty, shall we dive in there today? How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? Doing your self care, embracing everything, integrating everything. Mm -hmm. ah, right, doing more than just taking care of the looks on the outside, cultivating that beauty on the inside. Mm, I don't know, what's that for you? Hey, how's that go for you? Yeah, one more week of the Bold and Visible Breakthrough. Oh, and if you can get to Calgary and go see the live monologues happening in November. November 9th is sticking in my head, but also the 18th. I can't remember. I will share posts about that. But that is beautiful. If you can get there to Calgary, beautiful theater. And these women telling their stories up on the stage. It's not telling the story from that victim place. It's after we've transcended those stories and telling them in an empowering way. And it's beautiful that man or woman be able to relate because it's about this human experience. Man or woman, whatever we call ourselves, we're human beings all having a human experience. And we all share that same story of the human journey. We all have a common story. Yes, we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we all got common ground. Look down. There we go. <sighs> right? No matter where you live on Earth, you're still living on this Earth. No matter what hemisphere, which side do you quite Earth? Right? You're still on this Earth. That's our common ground. <sighs> Just one. Thank you very much. There we go. I felt it. I felt it. Let's see if I can get down there without getting stuck. Okay. That's why it takes me a little while when I get down here. I kind of get a little stuck. And slowly, slowly get back up. And I feel a little dizzy. Dizzy. I'm so dizzy. My head is spinning. Like a whirlpool, it never ends. I love that song. It's one of my favorite oldies. One of my favorite, favorite oldies. But I can't even remember who sings it. But I know it's called Dizzy. The concept of self-care. Here we go. Right? Let's define what self-care really is. The concept of self-care relates to small rituals that can restore feelings of well-being that you may have neglected when dealing with life's tribulations, right? How fast do we let our self-care go out the window? Right, that by Amy Lee McCree. Choose a daily ritual to practice self-care each day. Why did you choose this ritual and what does it bring to your life? See, this is something I've chosen to do each day. And then when I don't do it, I kind of feel off. But this helps me because it brings, helps me connect first thing, right? Getting my connections in there and with you as well. 
and hopefully if I'm sharing that, and by some of the comments, it is helping, so I'm glad you get a laugh. For no, even if it's just the entertainment, whatever. I really hope you learned something about yourself and how important that you are here and that you're worthy and you are loved unconditionally and you're accepted just as you are. Right. And, you know, a little laugh, a little comic relief is always good, too. So, but what is that something you do for you every day? What's a daily ritual you do for yourself every day? And if you don't have one, is there one that you've been thinking of? I mean, I've integrated my somatic practice into my daily rituals, too. And for this week, I've actually been doing it before my morning scrolls. So first thing in the mornings. And that has been helping. I feel a shift doing it in the morning, setting my day. I had a wicked headache. I still did it in the morning. My headache was, you know, it is it is helping. So what is those things? And then, right, self-discipline is self-caring. We have that ritual. We continue to do it and not let anything stop us, right? No, excuse me. I need to put on my oxygen mask first. Then I'll come and help you, right? No shame, no blame. Look at that. Two came out together. And we got a path on... The top and I told him on the bottom and I told him on the bottom and a path on the top. Right, your life is the messenger. What has your life been teaching you? Okay, what has these rituals been teaching you? What's the message you get from your body? Hey, maybe there's a message coming in about telling you what, what your body needs. What kind of ritual you would like to be set up, right? Ah, earth connection and empowerment. That power place is inside of you. Because that's where, that's, that's untouched. Nobody can get in there right that's your power place your connection into the divine inside that cannot be severed again right i've said before hey it's not just me this stuff doesn't just come from me all right i don't make it all up all right okay it's stuff i've learned along the way as well but we can never be severed from our creator okay you wouldn't be walking this earth if you were okay so you've always got that connection direct connection we need no middleman no middle human to connect us to our divine. Alrighty? That's the law. Okay. Okay. So, here we go. That's the ideas and needs manifested. When we connect in with that divine. Remember, Spirit came out, I think it was yesterday, right? With this, the ideas and needs manifested. We find that connection in ourselves. We listen to the messages and, and, and our promptings and the way we're being guided to care for ourselves. Because, right, your life is sacred. Your life is a gift to this world right live it as such live it as an offering and then we bring that together and ideas and needs are manifested and what are we loyal to maybe we've been loyal to to those abusers maybe we've been loyal to the fear maybe we've been loyal to our bosses at work or whatever and we're dedicating everything there that home is left lacking so what is that for you what have you been loyal to and how has that served you you know be loyal to these self-care right make this a priority you are a priority you are enough live your life is sacred so ideas and needs manifested about what is that ritual daily ritual something you do daily just for you self-care just for fun right what is that for you what's the life telling you all that bring it all together integrate it all you beautiful, beautiful beings. Okay. So, and if you like to share, I would love it. I love seeing your comments. I love reading them. I don't get back to them all, but I just, I love it. Thank you. It's, in, it's encouragement for me as well, too. And especially when I see the laughing faces, because, you know, I laugh at myself, too. So I'm glad I, I don't amuse just me. <laughs> all right. Biggest heart hugs ever. Yes. Thank you for being you, shining your light through and everything you do. Because the world needs you to be you. Fully holy and true. Don't let that world miss out on all that's you. I'm so glad you're here. And I'm so glad you choose to stay. Let's go make this another wonderful, blessed day. All right? Go, go, go. Slow, slow, slow. All right. I love you all. Mwah. Thank you. Oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go?